guys, it's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Today, I am trying some more of Tabitha Brown's food collection from Target. And I am going to be trying the vegan jalapeno lime hummus. And also, I'm going to be trying the vegan spicy jalapeno cilantro garlic spread. Long name. <laughs> and I tried this in the last video, but we're going to have some of this with my sandwich today. So, yes. So, I'm going to say a prayer and we'll get into it. Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Thank you for this day. I see you be with my viewers. Keep them happy, healthy, and safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So, I'm excited to give these a try. I'm going to put some of these okras on my plate so i can have some of those out to enjoy with this so if you did not see the video please check out the video i did on the vegan garlic pickled okra all right so i'm going to dress up this vegetarian burger so I'm using the Morningstar Griller patties. These patties are considered vegetarian, not vegan. And so just keep that in mind. And also I'm using the multi-grain buns again that I use for the chickpea sandwich or the not so tuna. <laughs> so let's get into this. Okay, so this is the vegan spicy jalapeno garlic spread. It smells garlicky. Let's see the texture. So it's creamy. It's not like runny or anything. So that's good. So I'm going to give it a stir. And we're going to just spread this on the bread. Spread it on the bread. And hopefully it's good because I sure did put it all over this bread. <laughs> hopefully it's good we will find out all right so let's put you here okay so you can see i got it on there y'all all right Woo! little nervous okay so i'm gonna kind of have that propped up i want to give this a try and see how it is before i get into that hummus so let's see a bite for <laughs> i'm dripping lettuce let's see a bite for you and let's try this out i'm gonna make sure i got it on here Gotta go for bite two. Mm. That's pretty good. Now I have the knife back here. I'm gonna lick off of it to see what it tastes like by itself a little a little hint of jalapeno i could even say that it could probably be spicier because i'm getting um a lot of the garlic taste But I almost bit my tongue. Mm. 
It's good with that okra. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I definitely buy this again. I'd be curious to taste it on like some type of like taco or like soft taco or burrito or something like kind of Mexican style. So yeah, so far so good. I think it's tasty, good flavor, more heavy on the garlic than, than the jalapeno. You get a little hint of the jalapeno, maybe using more of it, I would get more of the jalapeno, but um, to me, I get more of the garlic and a little hint of jalapeno. Mm -hmm. yeah so I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 and I see some jalapeno bits in there I think maybe I would want it to be a little spicier, but who knows when I eat it again, maybe I'll get more of the kick. All right, so let's try this hummus. So this is the vegan jalapeno lime hummus. Now y'all, y'all, if you know, then you know that I love a certain hummus. And if you know what it is, comment down below. So we're going to see if this lives up to that or maybe even better. We will see. But I'm going to use some uh, grain-free tortilla chips. They're made from cassava flour. They're sea salt. I enjoy these. They're from, um, I get them from Kroger, but they're by Simple Truth. But it's grain-free tortilla chips. I enjoy them. And so I'm going to go ahead and give these a try. Let me put this down. My little prop for now and get this open Oof. so you can see it with the plastic still on it has the jalapeno so I like that it has the jalapeno in the center like that and so this is what it looks like so let's see Chickpeas, of course, jalapenos, tahini, garlic, lime juice, sea salt, cilantro leaves, concentrated lemon juice, water, canola oil. Serving size, two tablespoons, 70 calories. So, yeah, let's give this a try. All right, y'all. I'm excited. All right, let's see. There's a bite for y'all. That has a kick, a little kick. More of a kick than this does. I do taste the lime. There's something that's giving me a little bit of an aftertaste though. I'm trying to see. Let me try without the chips. There's something that's giving me a, a bit of an aftertaste. Could it be the tahini? I think I said tahini earlier, not tahini. 
two completely different things. Tahini. It's sesame tahini, so maybe it's that sesame tahini. I don't see any anything else in the ingredients that would give an aftertaste. This one, is it giving what it's supposed to give for me? No. This isn't my favorite hummus. Y'all, I still got to rock with my jalapeno avocado hummus from Target, Good and Gather. So I would say maybe it's because the other one that I typically enjoy is the mixture of hummus and avocado. And I'll have to look, but there's something that's giving me an aftertaste. If you guys have tried this one, let me know. Did you guys notice that? It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Of the products that I've had so far, I'd say the pickled okra was good and this one was good so the pickled okra then this one and then this one so far i still have the lemon dill one to try i'm curious to see i'm not going to open that one yet but i will try it in another video but so far yeah there's something giving me a, a aftertaste and i don't know let me guy let let me guys <laughs> Guys, let me know if you, um, I, I'll go watch some videos of people who have tried this one and see what you guys think. But, but I still have two more items to try. So just cause I love Tap of the Brown, <laughs> I'm going to give this a five. Um, but I wouldn't get this one again. I wouldn't get that one again. Um, but I would say try it and try for yourself because it could be that sesame tahini and if you like sesame sesame tahini <laughs> then you might enjoy this but it's okay the texture is good it's just that little aftertaste but this i would buy again i would definitely buy the okra again But overall, I love what Tabitha Brown is doing. Um, it's one thing to change your lifestyle for yourself, but to make products to hopefully get your supporters and your followers to try because sometimes people are just afraid to try something different because you grew up eating a certain way, grew up eating certain foods. And so you automatically are like, oh, I don't want to try that. It's, it's healthy. <laughs> it's not going to be good. But you can make vegan food, vegetarian food, all of that. You can make it taste good. So it's not like flavorless. <laughs> and I think... Hopefully, hopefully people who have tried her food will see that. You never know until you try. Like um, mukbang and things. When we were in Baltimore, she made some fried tofu. 
And when I tell you it was good, it was so good. Because the flavor, she seasoned it. So I hope if anything, that's the message that comes across with what Tabitha Brown is doing. I definitely want to try some of her food products. I have not seen those yet. I may not see those because with this being a limited collection, I may have missed my opportunity to get some of like the ravioli, I think it was ravioli or pasta, the the meat patties. Um, but I'll look again and see if I can find them because like you guys see, like this is a vegetarian patty, these griller burgers from Morningstar and I enjoy them. But they're not vegan because they use um, egg white. So, so far so good. One tablespoon, 90 calories. And you don't need a lot of a lot of it on here either. So I'm definitely going to keep using this. I will eat the rest of this, but it's not something that I think I will buy again. Um, just because that aftertaste, I couldn't figure it out. But um, I want to be honest with y'all, even though I love Tab. But I haven't had anything that I would say is disgusting or like repulsive. <laughs> so that's a bonus. But yeah, I enjoy my sandwich. That okra was good with it too. But anyway, this is really good. I wonder what other things I would try this on. It says sandwiches, bowls, or roasted vegetables. Hmm. Roasted vegetables. I'm wondering what I would do that. Like, I could see it in a bowl, like with um, rice, and then put some of this on top of the, uh, or put some rice, put some, like, corn, like black beans, um, avocado, tomato, like jalapeno, like sauteed jalapeno, and then put this sauce on top. I could eat that kind of bowl, definitely. So yeah, we'll see what I come up with on other ways to use this. But I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully you'll give it a try. If you have not, if you can find it in store still, give it a try. If you've already tried it, let me know what you think down below as well, um, but yeah. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye! Like, comment, subscribe.